All right, I haven't shaved in a while and I look terrible under this light, but I wanna tell you a little bit about Browse AI, what makes it such a good tool and how you can use it to optimize your workflow. Okay, so what is Browse.ai? Basically, it's a web scraper and allows you to pull data from any website, export it to a CSV or Excel sheet, and then use it as you see fit, including uploading it to your own online database. So what does that mean? First of all, we should really understand the difference between AI and generative AI. Right now, every company in existence is trying to throw AI letters on the end of its brand name or something about automated because it's all the rage. And the reality is when we think of things like chat GPT, that's really generative AI. What does that mean? So that means it's collected some set of massive data, used its neural network to kind of piece together all that information, and then you give it a prompt and it creates something new based on the sum of all that data that it's ingested before. Then there's like regular AI, which is more just like advanced algorithms and automation tools that are sort of pre-programmed steps. They're not necessarily creating anything new. You're just telling it what you want to do and it's got a really good algorithm to do that. I would say browse.ai falls on the ladder, but that doesn't make the tool any less useful or impactful. So let's say you wanted to go to LinkedIn and pull a bunch of job listings, put them in a spreadsheet, catalog, uh, catalog all of the hiring companies or managers or descriptions or salary ranges. Well, you can manually do it. You could hire a VA or an intern and have them do it over a week, or you could use browse.ai and do it in about 18 minutes. And in fact, we actually use Browse AI to begin seeding our site at Smoking Robot to get a list of all the available AI tools that are out there on some other parts of the internet that had already begun to catalog those in fits and starts. And it saved us tons of time. So what you do is you go to their site, you sign up for a trial, uh, their subscription is $39 a month, so it's not super cheap, but for the amount of time and money that it can save you, it's well worth it. So let's talk about how it actually works. Let's say you wanna go scrape those job boards from LinkedIn. You would put the URL that you want to scrape into Browse AI. You would then open the page and you would select the fields in the table that you want to collect. For example, the title of the job, the description, the salary range. You could go to ESPN.com and select a team schedule and the results. And you can select the date, the opponent, the score. Once you do that, you hit enter and you can actually title each of those fields whatever you want them to be. Might be obvious like the score or you might wanna call it something else, doesn't really matter. Browse.ai will then go through that table and pull all of the like name things. So everything that looks like a date, it will pull and put in that column. Everything that looks like an opponent, it will pull and put in that column. Same for job listings. It will understand what the salary range field is and will add it to that column. You run the robot, it will crawl the site, and within a few minutes, you got a nice, beautiful spreadsheet of whatever database and information you wanted to pull. So what could this be used for? In our example, we pulled that database, put it on the R website, uploaded it, mapped the fields to our categories, which were pretty closely named, and boom, we have a database of 261 AI tools over at Smoking Robot, and it, we curated it initially. It's a growing list that now requires some manual work, but we did it initially in about 45 minutes. Uh, and 20 of those were basically finding Browse.ai and the other 20 were actually using it. Um, how else can you use this? Yeah, you can put it on a website. You can also monitor competitors. You can set the program to check a website every day, every four hours, every week. And when there's changes, did someone add a new job listing? Boom, you'll get a notification when something new is there and it will run the script and it will update the database. Uh, did your competitor change their prices on something? Browse.ai can check the site every day once you show it what to do the first time. Really, really useful tool that anyone who's ever copied data or aggregated data from the internet, from a website, from a competitor, market research, this will cut a lot of time out of it. Now, it does have its drawbacks. A lot of what it does is recognize sort of the HTML coding templates on a website. And if you select a title field, most websites will have all the fields categorized and classified the same way. So it makes it relatively easy for this to do its thing. There are other websites that aren't set up as well structurally. And this is where browse that AI really isn't actually an AI because they even though the fields look the same, they're in a different class, they have a different header number, you know, whatever it is, it won't necessarily figure that out. You'll have to repeat the steps for each section. So there's been a few websites where we've had more success than others using it, but for the most part, if you're looking at a set of data and it's formatted in the right way, this can help you crawl it and use it. So anyway, how much does it cost? Uh, it's $39 per month 
for the starter plan. It goes on up. You can check it out and save 10% over at smokingrobot.com. Hit the productivity tools and you'll see browse.ai. Right now, it's one of our featured products. Anyway, we really like this one. It's not like the most sexy AI product out there, but it will save you time and money and help you get things done more quickly, which at the end of the day is really what most AI tools are all about. If you like what you see here, head on over to smokingrobot.ai, check out our reviews and products for all of these cool, useful AI tools, and we'll be making more videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Please comment, give us your thoughts on this video and what you would like to see us review next. Our lighting, our wall, it's a work in progress, but I promise you we'll be here every day with really good reviews on all the latest AI tools.